I'm Sarah Sherwood and um, I'm here to show you a little bit about uh, what I can do and um, I want to keep you entertained during lockdown. Any uh, donations you want to make, uh, please do so to UNICEF. Um, and anyway, welcome to my world. To loosen me up a little bit, I'm going to put some music on because uh, I'm not used to doing this. Hang on a minute, let's see if this can work. I love uh, listening to anything happy that sparks my mood and so this is just going to give me a bit of rhythm to get going and to show you what I do. Now uh, I'm working in oils, this is my palette, I've got a few things ready earlier. Uh, essential item for painting, I want you to have a go, cup of tea because we all need that. Right, um, also I use something called liquid. Uh, you chuck it with the oils and it makes it fly. Right, so this is a, a hand embellished print, it's on canvas and I'm just going to make it really, really unique. And also, I had a brainwave, what I'm going to do is if uh, this is worth £450, special embellish is £550. If you want to make uh, donations, offers above that, it's, it's yours and all the money, you've got to pay UNICEF. So we're going to see, and then we're going to close the bids by the end of the week. So the highest amount you get this painting, and you pay UNICEF and tell me. I think that'd be really good. Right, no more talking, let's go. Right, changing plan because I've prepared earlier, but when I paint, I don't really think it just happens. So I'm needing turquoise, that just popped in my head. As you can see, I'm using a rag, we're just flying, just flying across the canvas. And I want to encourage you to do the same because this is real good fun. I use it as a way to get out my emotions, just let it go, you know? And um, we did some questions uh, because we thought I might dry up on the old know what to say and uh, I asked a few friends to say uh, what would you want to know about how I do it and what am I proud of? I don't know. I'm, I'm just amazed by what I can do. I don't know how I do it. So I'm grateful. That's what I'm proud of. I'm grateful to God for the inspiration. The inspiration comes from nature. It comes from people. It comes from daisies, sunflowers, love. Love is, and what I want to do in the world is share joy. I want to uplift and I want to make people feel good about themselves. Because I know, and I've been in the darkest places, I know what it's like to be down there. So um, I've learned to control my mind, and hopefully I can help others do that. Now I found this really wild green, I'm just gonna add a bit, because it's uh, got a nice little bit of springtime colors in there going on. And then I kind of make flowers just, just by kind of ziggling and getting in close. I don't really know what the technical term for that is. The other thing I love doing is Zumba and Salsa and um, just, just having a bit of fun. So when I'm in the studio on my own, I really do let go. I'm actually a bit stiff at the moment because I know that I'm being watched. But here I'm just using my fingers just to create kind of flowers. I'm kind of feeling like sunflower vibe. You know, I said I was inspired by sunflowers, so here we go. Let's just put some sunshine in this. Another essential item, baby wipes. Because uh, I, use, I use rags when I've got a bit more time because it's better on the environment. This is like the reflections. What I love about London is, is 
is the beautiful reflections you get in the Thames at night. Excuse my back, but I can't. Right, and uh, favourite paintings, dunno, love this one, so grateful because uh, it keeps selling and it's my pension, so thanks. Um, what else are you asking? Um, oh, artists, favourite artists, I love Turner, wow, I get goosebumps when I look at Turner. Uh, Monet, just, just flowers, nature, so calm. Um, Degas, don't we all want to be those dancers? Um, people, that also inspires me. Kindness. Oh, what else? Techniques, techniques, right. Well, uh, ah, straws, like, and I might get off, oh, actually used diamonds recently in a commission. So I've actually got diamonds in here somewhere, real diamonds, and you just suck them up. And it was a bit funny, I'm not going to do this live, because last time I did, I ended up with them all stuck to my mouth and ended up kissing the canvas to try and get the diamonds on there. So maybe... Don't try this at home, kids. But um, suck in a little bit and then just blow. I'll show you what I do with my gold leaf. So, uh, hang on. This is how I buy it in sheet form, if there's any left. Oh yeah, found a bit, here we go. Then, I literally just, just here we go. Just, just kind of like grab a bit. And then right, bam, in the center of the sunflower. Loving it, that's it. This is how we get sparkling. And then if I want to make stars or something, then sometimes I'll just kind of like, ooh. See what happens, that's quite fun. Um, another thing, when uh, I want to give the painting a little bit of energy. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll mix up some really slack paint, this is going to be fun. And kids, if you're doing this at home, just make sure it's all a bit clean. Uh, if you've got a bit of protection, don't do it on your, your favourite sofa or something, you know. But uh, we just, whoa, here we go. We've got some stars going on. <laughs> and the great thing about oils is if you're not really sure and you're not sure about something, you can always wipe it off. But hey, this is a bit fun. Oh, quite like that. 